Hi, this is Rhonda with JRK Family Outdoors, and today we're going to make a baked chicken and rice in our Dutch oven. So what we're going to begin with is adding um, a little bit of vegetable oil, maybe about oh two teaspoons or so, in the bottom of our Dutch oven. Take a paper towel and just kind of spread it around just to give it a light even coating in the bottom of our Dutch oven. After we've done that, we want to start adding some of our ingredients for our baked chicken and rice. We're going to begin by putting two cups of water in our Dutch oven. We're going to add one can of cream of mushroom soup. And one can of cream of chicken soup. And after we get this all out, we're going to give this a good stirring to mix these ingredients well. And just like this. Okay, now that we have our soups uh, all blended in with our water, we're going to add one cup of sour cream to the mixture. Again, we're going to mix this together well with a wooden spoon in our Dutch oven. Okay, now that we've mixed our sour cream in our mixture, we're going to add two cups of rice. Now as I'm mixing this, I'm using a wooden spoon, or you could even use a plastic spoon. You just want to stay away from using metal utensils in your cast iron Dutch oven because that can scratch the seasoning process off your Dutch oven. Now that we have our liquid ingredients along with our rice, we're going to add one small diced onion, about six to eight sliced mushrooms, and two large carrots that have been sliced. Give this a good stir. Now we're going to add to our mixture one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. After that's completed, we're going to add about two teaspoons of garlic powder. If you like more, you can add more to it. Or if you don't like quite as much, you can cut this down as well. But our family likes a lot of garlic. Again, give it a good stir. And now we have all our ingredients in there except our chicken. And we're using skinless chicken today. We're just going to lay this right in on top. Placing it evenly around the Dutch oven. Now that we've placed our chicken in there, we're just going to sprinkle some chicken seasoning on the top of our chicken. Give it a good coat. Now our baked chicken and rice is all ready. We're going to put the lid on and take that out and get our coals on. Okay, now that we have all the ingredients in our Dutch oven for our baked chicken and rice, we're out here and we're going to get them on the coals. A good rule of thumb is to take the diameter of your Dutch oven and double that and that will give you the number of coals to use for your cooking process. We have a 14 inch Dutch oven that we're using today. So we're putting 9 coals on the bottom and 19 on the top. Okay, now that we have our coals on top, we're going to cook this dish.
for about 90 minutes. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes now, and what we need to do is rotate our pot about 90 degrees, and we do that clockwise, and then we're going to take our lid and rotate that 90 degrees counterclockwise. As you can see, never be afraid to take a peek inside and see how things are coming in your dish. They're looking really good. By rotating the pot and the lid, we're evenly distributing the heat for our cooking process. Okay, we've had our baked chicken and rice on the coals for about 90 minutes now. I believe it's all ready and we're going to dish it up here. We've got some good chicken. Put that on the plate right here. Dish in here, get some of our vegetables and our rice. And that looks real good. So that's our baked chicken and rice in our Dutch oven. If you'd like this recipe or more information on Dutch oven cooking, please visit our blog. We've got a link to it in the sidebar. And come back for more videos and more recipes.